M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yesu FT991A. So here's a link to the firmware upgrade manual, so just check in the description. I will do this on the actual radio. Um, so just quickly scan through. Yeah, look up there to see which firmware you've got by press and hold down the power key to turn on the transceiver while pressing and holding the A to B key and a b key on the transceiver's main panel the version of firm each firmware will be displayed because you've got the main dsp tft and c4 fm it's quite a long-winded process i have actually done this before but it needs to be done carefully so really follow the instructions step by step make sure you've added any usb drivers that you need first and then you're effectively you know loading I, i'm pretty sure it's three lots but it could be four lots and it's all done in separate stages so uh, I'm not going to read the instructions to you now but when I do it I will um, you know talk you through it step by step you open up uh, mini sort of programs and then you it finds the driver it confirms that you've got the radio in firmware mode and once it knows you've got that and the right COM port selected then it will read it you obviously can't turn off the radio halfway through because it would cause serious problem so uh, just follow it step by step so here is a link for the instructions 73 catch you on air please subscribe to my channel dgid so let's have a look at this accessing a wirex node station utilizing dgid to access a wirex node station that is using a dgid it is necessary to set the transmit and receive DGID number of the FT991 to, co to correspond with the DGID number set in the YSX node station. So I'll do this when I've got the radio. I'm just reading through it now. Seems quite simple. So touch and hold the GM. The DGID list is displayed. Okay. Rotate the, the multi knob to select the number that you're going to choose. Yeah. Touch TX. The DGID number setting screen is displayed. Enter, enter the 50 of the DGID number touching the keys on the LCD. Touch enter. Touch RX. The DGID number setting screen is displayed. Enter the 50 of the DGID number touching the, the keys on the screen. LCD. Touch enter. Touch tag. The input screen of the DGID tag is displayed. Use the keys on the LCD to input the characters of the DGID tag up to eight characters. Touch enter to save the setting. Touch back to save the setting and return to normal operation. Recall and use the DGID number registered in the DGID memory. Touch and hold GM. The DGID list is displayed. Rotate the multi knob. And so on and so on. I'm not going to do read the whole lot, but uh, it looks like this manual could be fun if there's two of you that want to set DGIDs. I think there's a lot more functionality to the DGID than just um, being able to hear each other. You know, if you're both using the same number, I think you can actually transmit um, possibly messages, photographs as well. So anyway, I thought I'd um, show this for now and then put the link in the description. Seven three FT. 991A DGID. Bye for now.